Okay, dear future students, um, a lot of it has been said already, you know, the past few speakers. Um, give yourself lots of time to study and read and prepare. Make sure you have time to yourself, you're alone, you have a good study room, also a good study group. I had a great partner to meet with, total dependable, totally dependable partner, which is really important. Don't push things off. And again, start your portfolio as soon as you can, because you'll run into problems if you don't. Oh yeah, save funny little anecdotes that you run into during the course, things you read about or um, hear about, or it should really be in writing for your portfolio under the funny part. Keep a log of what you read throughout the class, write it all down for later since this is also going to be a part of our portfolio. If you take this class, don't take too many other classes because it's very time consuming. It was for me. It's very involved. Don't be afraid to ask Dr. Phil. I had real good luck with that. Email, got an answer back. It was great. That was good. Uh, use a good and honest friend who is willing to critique your speeches while you practice. Uh, and sometimes tell you what you don't want to hear, which will make you improve. Find a good outfit for your interview speech, because that makes you feel more confident, and it does help uh, to kind of practice for interviews. Uh, don't panic when you first take a look at the syllabus, because it all comes together in the end. It's just overwhelming. Uh, so, it, and you have a lot of fun during the class. We did. I'll re repeat it that I already said that about the study group here. Uh, what positive impact? I, I hope I was able to blend in and, and, and uh, got along well and taught you a little about some cooking. Uh, to improve, I was just talking to Sunday. I should have definitely, definitely taken a computer class first. Because I've written for newspapers, believe it or not, and I know how to type, I know how to communicate, I know how to interview, but it's totally different if you have to download, upload. We never had to do that. We just sent emails to editors. Huge difference. Um, performance 7-8, because I'm dependable, so, and hopefully reliable. Uh, memorable moments would be a lot. Uh, there was a lot. Let's see, I wrote a couple down. It was fun making, sitting over here and making roulade for everybody. That was cute. I've never done that in, in a school class. Um, I was very impressed by Dr. Phil's use of the English language, which I just admire. I wish I could communicate like that. I just love it. Because I hear these words and I'm like, what does it mean? And then I learn what it means and two days later I forget what they meant. And I don't like that. It's probably my older brain. And let's see, I, it was good to see Alan in tights. Memorable. Out there. <laughs> Richard Simmons, that was funny. And, um, well, there was just a lot to list. I did take a class here in the evening once, or it was maybe the morning class, and it was about the significant, it was the first speech we had to do, and it was a man who spoke about an inmate he met in prison. That was kind of a memorable moment for me. He called it Inmate Johnson. So, but that was not related to this class. So that's pretty much it. Let it repeat. <laughs>